What's up guys, Econ John here. In this video, we're gonna talk about visualizing the ramsey cass koopmans model using the phase diagram. Let's go. So just like in the solar model where we used a diagram to visualize convergence to a steady state and a BGP, in the RCK model, we also wanna create a diagram to visualize such convergence as well. The phase diagram we'll be using in the RCK model will be focused around two variables, consumption per effective labor and capital per effective labor. Additionally, we'll be looking at the evolution of these two variables through the Euler equation and the investment equation, which is equation one and two respectively, in conjunction with how those variables converge to a BGP, which is where C dot is equal to K dot, which is equal to zero. So this diagram shows how C will progress depending on the initial capital stock. We see that outside the steady state level of capital K star, consumption per effective worker will either increase to infinity or go to zero. This result is derived from our Euler equation. In this case, K star is the value of K needed to determine where our Euler equation is equal to zero, where F prime of K, which is our marginal product of capital, is equal to rho plus G times theta. Since for small amounts of capital, a small increase raises consumptions a lot, it follows that C is increasing when K is less than K star. Similarly, when we have a large capital stock, additional investment will contribute very little in increasing consumption. So it follows C decreases when K is greater than K star. When graphing the dynamics of K, we simply draw a curve which identifies all the values of C where our investment equation K dot is equal to zero. Intuitively, we know that we'll keep investing in capital if we are below the steady state by the green line. Conversely, we will invest less if we are in fact above this line since we are losing more by investing. By combining both the dynamics of capital and consumption, we come to our phase diagram, which is the workhorse for visualizing the predictions of the RCK model. The use of such a phase diagram will point to how initial levels of consumption and capital will affect convergence to equilibrium, i.e. where C dot is equal to K dot, which is equal to zero, which is where both these lines intersect or where the green star is. So let's talk about convergence to BGP. Say that the initial stock of capital is at point K prime and consumption will vary. What this diagram tells us is that only when we are at point A do we converge to a balanced growth path. This is consistent with the idea in the RCK model of how the initial stock of capital and consumption has implications for economic welfare throughout the lifetime of the consumer. It is only when we are starting at this point or any point along this dark blue line to converge to the BGP. When graphing all these points that converge to a BGP, we can obtain the saddle path. The saddle path indicates all the points that which are consistent with the household's intertemporal optimization problem. This means that although the dynamics of the graph could lead to disequilibrium as shown on the previous slide, by imposition of the consumer's optimization problem along with its budget constraint and no Ponzi game condition, do we find the consumer at some point along the saddle path turn directly towards the BGP? So that's the visualization of the RCK model. In the next video, we're gonna add a government to the RCK model and show how it can shock these diagrams. So I'll see you in that video. Take care.